Good morning, Steve Fried with the morning uh, comment on the grain from uh, wonderful world of uh, Disney World in uh, Central Florida. Uh, markets are a little bit lower overnight. I think we've taken a lot of uh, bullish premium out of the marketplaces, and I think now we're just trying to look at uh, what USDA might say tomorrow. Um, as far as the beans are concerned, July's back to $14. November's back below $12.50. July corn is around 5.91, while yeast is at 5.17. Chicago wheat, July 6.35, Kansas City 8.50, and Minneapolis 8.41. Stocks are higher, dollar is higher, crude is higher, but gold, silver, copper, coffee, cocoa, sugar, cotton are all lower. Uh, U.S. Midwest looks uh, from a weather standpoint normal, which uh, doesn't really make uh, much buying on that concern. Uh, U.S. soybean export sales expected 200 to 500,000 tons. Brazil is still cheaper. Tomorrow, the USDA is expected to raise both old and new crop soybean carryouts uh, and also show higher Brazil, lower Argentina crop. The main focus might be next year's uh, biodiesel demand out of the U.S. Uh, we did see the Rosario Exchange lower their soybean crop to 21.5 million tons with 54% of the crop harvested. Uh, we'll be watching to see what they do to next year in Ukraine and EU oil feed production, which should be higher. Most of the Dalian futures, soybean, soybean meal, palm oil, and 12 grain oil were all lower. Uh, China, uh, since mid-April, has canceled 832,000 tons of U.S. corn. Domestic basis is firm. Ethanol margins are up. Farmer selling is down. Expecting the uh, corn sales between a negative 100 to maybe 800,000 tons. Uh, it's interesting in that uh, futures markets from in July are following two years exactly, 2012 and 2013. The pivot point was late June, and in 2012, because of dry weather, um, corn futures rallied 75 cents per week uh, each week in July. 2013 was normal weather. We lost 10 cents per week per week in the month of July. Um, and the wheat sales, 75 to 300,000 tons. Algeria tender, Russia dropped their prices to 245 to try to do the tender, but the Balkan prices were even lower. No news on the corridor, um, and USDA should uh, lower European wheat exports and uh, raise the carryout. Right now they're using the ending stocks in Europe wheat at 12 million tons. The number is actually going to be closer to 21 million metric tons. Um, Weather-wise, we're looking at Kansas being uh, a little bit drier. So is western Oklahoma um, in this uh, upcoming rain event. Um, Northern Plains is too wet. Canada is dry. Argentina is dry. Australia should be dry, while Europe and the Black Sea weak conditions are, are mostly favorable.